We learnt about leaves. We looked at the leaves. We felt the leaves. Then we learnt to look at a plant, name the parts. Now, what we looked at is a tiny plant. Let's look at it, take a look out of the window. Look at the large tree. That's one tree that you saw. Can you name a tree? What is that tree? Neem tree. Okay. Can you name some more trees? What tree gives you mango? Mango tree. What tree gives you coconut? Coconut tree. And so now we will look at trees. There are different kinds of trees. Now let's look at, let us learn to name, let us name to draw all kinds about the trees. Alright? So we will do trees. Now what are these trees? Plants that are huge, we call them trees. What do we call the tiny plants? Shrubs, herbs, a little rose bush, it's a bush. So you have huge ones like the mango tree, the coconut tree, we call them trees. Who lives in the tree? Bird, they make their home. And some trees are very tall. Some are short. The trees have two main parts. It's got a body that we call trunk. Then there are leaves. Some are clustered. Some are single. Now, let us learn to name some trees. Can you name some of the trees you know? Yes, you say ma coconut tree. Coconut tree, mango tree. Coconut tree. Mango tree, then you have banyan tree, very huge one, banyan. Banyan tree, then you have palm tree, it has got a thick trunk, palm tree. Then you have jackfruit tree. can have apple tree, lime tree, very good, and so on. There are other trees that grow in the huge forest like deodor tree, then you have pine tree, eucalypt tree, okay? You have pine in the forest, pine tree that is used for firewood, then eucalypt tree, they extract juice and when you have cold cough you apply. Tamarind, mommy make nice curry for you, so you have tamarind tree. Tamarind tree, then what are the trees? Think and tell me. Mango tree we wrote, coconut, mango, banyan, palm, jackfruit, apple tree, lime tree, pine tree, tamarind tree, neem tree, that is a medicinal, the leaves are medicinal, neem. And you have many, when you go out, look at all the trees that you see. Now, in these, some of the fruits are edible, like coconut Fruit is edible, mango, edible, palm, jackfruit, apple, lime, tamper. They are edible. Now, neem is a medicinal plant. Neem 
is a medicinal plant. Now, which trees can give you fruit? All trees produce, but we cannot eat. Now, coconut tree produces coconut, which is edible, which is good for you. Now, all trees are useful to us some way or the other. Let's take the coconut tree. It gives us fruit, which is useful for us. The tree itself is very useful, every part of a tree. The tree is used to make furniture and things like that. Now, the wood of a banana tree, the tree trunk, it is used for, they shred it and make, they use tie flowers. So every part of a tree is used to make some furniture like tamarind tree. When it becomes very huge, the tree is cut down and it is used. Now, man uses not only the tree trunk but also they use the flowers, the leaves, the bark for different purposes. Now, there are also spice trees like the bay leaves. Bay leaves, the tree is very huge and the bark is used for as a spice, bay leaf. That's a huge tree actually. Now, let's look at the tree itself. The tree has branches, The tree has branches, it has leaves. Now, the tree itself, it has branches, clusters of leaves. Now, let's look at it, every part. Now, the fat, the huge part of the tree is called the bark. It can be soft. It can be hard, it can be rough. Okay? Now, this part of the tree, it can be rough, it is called bark. Now, the bark of the tree can be rough, it can be smooth, like the eucalyptus, it will be smooth. The tamarind tree is rough, the bark of the tree. This tree is cut and it can be used for furniture. The leaves. Now, in the case of the neem leaf, in the case of the neem leaf, it's got clusters of leaf and this leaf can be used as medicine. Then it has fruits. Like the tamarind, it has lovely fruits hang out. And you can use that for your curry, like the tamarind. So the fruits, some fruits are useful. Some leaves are used for medicines. Eucalyptus tree, the bark will be very smooth. Over and above, what is the other use of the tree? Bark is used, fruit is used, leaf is used. The birds make nest in the tree. They make nest in the tree. The birds come and set they say safe place and they make lovely little nest for its baby. They lay eggs and the tree is useful. So we are looking at the uses of the tree. One, birds have a home. Two, it gives shade. So what are the uses? Now we look at in what way the tree is useful to us. Uses of a tree. We are going to name the tree you know. Uses. How can man and animals use this tree? One, the tree is a home for birds. Home for birds and not only birds and Animals too. Birds and animals. 
That is number one. The bark or the trunk. The trunk of the tree is used for furniture. It's cut and used for furniture. Now, the pine tree, the pine tree trunk is used for firewood. Next, so this part is used. What about the fruit of the tree? Fruit. Fruit, like the tamarind, is edible. Tamarind, another fruit like banana, apple, lime, all this edible. So, what about the flowers? Some fruit, some of the trees give lovely flowers. What about the flowers? Like the drumstick tree, the flowers are edible. The banana tree, the flowers are edible. So, next is flowers. Some of these trees, the flowers of the coconut tree is edible. So, the flowers are Edible. What trees? Coconut. Banana. Drumstick flowers. Drumstick is a huge tree, but it's got tiny flowers. That's edible. Drumstick. Now, what about the leaf? The drumstick leaves are edible. The banana leaf is used for eating. So, the use is a tree. The full tree is useful for man, for animals, for birds. Okay? So, the trunk or the bark is used for Making furniture, the tree itself is a home of birds and animals. Sometime you see a lovely owl sitting in a hole. Big owl. A huge owl sits there with big, big eyes in the hole of the tree. Okay, homes of animals and birds. Then fruit like the tamarind is edible. Flowers like the banana, coconut, drumstick are edible. So the total tree is useful to all of us. To us, to the birds and to the animals. So now what are the trees? Name any two. If I ask you, name any two trees. Jackfruit tree, pine tree. So coconut tree, mango tree, banyan tree, palm tree, jackfruit tree, apple, lime, pine, tamarind, neem, bay leaf, then drumstick tree and you can go on. So when I say name any two trees, you should be able to name. Now, the, the uses, what are the uses of a tree? The tree is a home of many birds and animals. What about the, the trunk itself? It can be cut up and make into furnitures, doors and windows. What about the fruits? Some fruits like the apples, Tamarind, banana, they are all useful for a man to eat. Flowers, some flowers are edible, like the coconut flower, banana flower, drumstick flower and so on. So the totality of the tree, tree is a useful thing for man. Finally, what does the tree give us? It gives shade. If you are a tired person, tree gives Shade. And it brings rain. There are many trees in your garden, in your campus. Then it becomes, the place becomes cool. You like to sit under a tree. 
because it gives shade finally you grow trees it brings rain so the uses of trees are many we should grow we should help our mommy our neighbors to support the tree not cut the tree but plant a tree and allow it to grow making it a home for lovely birds hi children i'm going to ask you a question which is the most beautiful part of a plant of a tree good correct flowers so now we're going to look at we're going to think of all the flowers we have seen from tiny to the biggest which is the biggest flower sunflower lovely that's the biggest flower it stands there big just like the sun bright and yellow and we have tiny flowers like the jasmine and what not so now we are going to talk about look at the pictures all the flowers we know just like the leaves flowers are of different kinds different shape different sizes different texture some are sweet smelling some out not so good smell some are medicinal some are edible can you tell me one flower that is edible good banana flower even the big pumpkin bright yellow pumpkin flower is edible the drumstick flower is edible the neem flower is edible tiny flowers a bitter flower it's good for health so we going to let's look at all of us love to see pictures of flowers flowers make you happy when you look out into the garden and see your own garden gives you a tiny little flower and you feel so joyful so we going to what we are going to do now is flowers the topic is flowers the most beautiful part of a plant that's a flower Okay here is the little flower Okay a tiny flower I've done for you flower flower Now can you name some flowers you seen so many flowers look at your book itself let's name some of the flowers over there okay what are they very good sunflower that's the biggest flower sunflower jasmine very good tulip yes tulip flowers then what is that gives you good smell like to wear it on your head rose flower yes rose flower marigold a lovely orange big look it's a samanthi you will say marigold marigold pansy very good pansy then uh, lotus 
as a water plant lotus lily lotus lily then blue bell blue bell poppy have you seen a poppy flower poppy poppy shoe flower shoe flower is both medicinal and edible shoe flower okay we got a whole lot of plants here now some of these have good smell okay now we are talking about flowers and flowers have smell the petals are different some are soft some are rough some are thorny that's a cactus flower some colors colorless some are white and you find all color plants so some are edible some are medicinal so when you talk about flowers what are the kinds kinds of flowers there are different kinds of flowers yes we are going to look at the different kinds of flowers one there are flowers that are edible when you say edible flower we say banana flower and uh, let's say banana then shoe flower then pumpkin flower red pumpkin pumpkin flower then so one is edible that you can eat edible flowers another one is medicinal second kind is medicinal flowers can you name some flowers that are used for medicine medicinal purpose what are they neem that's a tiny little white flower neem the neem huge tree produces tiny little white flower which is used as medicine so the medicinal flower is then we can also use shoe flower shoe flower also medicinal suppose you want your hair to grow is very good for health reasons you put in the oil you boil nicely you make it into powder rub it on your head is medicinal neem you can put it in the curry rasam and it's medicinal it is good for health okay then there are other types there are huge flowers huge there are huge flowers can you name some huge flower really large ones you will say sunflower sunflower sunflowers are really big banana flower is also big banana flower also is big so you find huge flowers flowers that smell flowers that smell sweet smell sweet smelling flowers so what are the flowers that have lovely sweet smell why the sweet smell because it is the sweet smell the honey in the flower that attract tiny bees now when you say jasmine jasmine is a tiny white flower 
got lovely smell you can also wear it on your head rose rose is another flower that has lovely smell jasmine and rose are used to make perfumes also so these are sweet smelling flowers now what are the flowers colorful flowers now most of these flowers are colorful now there are different colors now let us say colorful colorful the colorful flowers you find both wild flowers and what you grow now in roses you might have seen pictures of all colors tulips roses and tulips come in variety of colors lovely colors you will find even shoe flowers you not only find red orange pink you find shoe flowers also colorful different colors you find so you have edible flowers medicinal flowers huge flowers sweet smelling flowers you colorful plants flowers you also find tiny flowers very tiny and the one of the tiny flower is the neem flower neem and drumstick neem drumstick flower neem and drumstick flowers are edible and they are very tiny it has also good smell now flowers like this rose and jasmine i said we can also make they make perfumes you put perfume on you isn't it now there are all colors in flowers you have a set of color pencils and what are the colors you find in the color pencil every single flower color including green you find in rose and in tulips so flowers are of variety variety of flowers now the petals of the flower differs somehow single petal like the blue bell and lily and uh, lotus has got lovely long petals each of the flower that we are looking at has different petal shapes size texture some flowers are soft some are silky some are rough so flowers have smell flowers have petals flowers are soft flower petals are smooth some flowers have thorns like the cactus flower cactus flowers are really bright looking flowers lovely orange and lovely yellow pink and so on you find all colors in tulips and in just in uh, rose all colors as i told you which flower you like to describe let's say a rose rose is a lovely flower that comes in different colors the petals are soft you can wear it on your head you can give it as a bouquet to a friend you can also make lovely perfume out of it some people make rose water out of the rose petals the petals are also used for making flower beds to welcome someone so the uses of flowers are ever so many uses there are different kinds and they are used differently now 
flowers can be seen on all trees shrubs and some are single flowers like the lotus lily bluebell but some are in clusters in groups like the jasmine you find poppy you find in clusters fancy so there are single flowers there are cluster flowers but all flowers are beautiful every single flower is beautiful some are smell some do not have smell but they all attract bees because there is honey inside it is the bees and the butterflies that makes the flower into a fruit so all flowers attract bees and butterflies all flowers are colorful and they all attract insects and bees